everyone. Welcome to Callus Narrates, the YouTube channel with your guest narrator of the day, Xtina Zendrix, I guess is how that tag is pronounced. I've never said it in real life. Uh, but we've got a really heat matchup for y'all today. We got Bad Dummy versus Dice, and uh, both these players I'm very eager to see. Bad Dummy is a more defensive, cautious player overall. In fact, one of the predictions for CI7 was Bad Dummy wins two or more games without spikes. So we'll see. Will he bring spikes to every game this set? Uh, he fought his way through the qualifier bracket um, and played some really solid sets there, so I'm excited to see what he's able to do against Dice. Uh, Dice is a really creative builder. One of his replays I watched for one of the earlier Callus Invitationals, he brought a Snatch Blissey. So I'm really excited to see what he brings to this. Both these players are actually um, even records in CI lifetime coming into this set. Uh, Dice has won 10 games and lost 10 games. Bad Dummy has lost 0 and won 0 in main event. So whoever wins this set is going to have a winning record overall lifetime. Whoever loses it is going to have a losing one. So a little extra on the line today. So we're just going to get into this first replay. Um, first, let me just put on the agency beat just to make things feel real. You know, get the stakes correct. And uh, let's get right into it. Yeah, here we go. All right, so turn one, we've got a Metagross lead versus a Metagross lead. Okay, so going out to Turt, uh, being cautious there. Dice just booms, turn one. Hope he doesn't need that Metagross for anything later in this game. Uh, oh, Tar versus Zap. It looks like Dice has got the best of this secondary pseudo lead matchup here. What will Bad Dummy do to avoid the incoming Rock Slide or Ice Beam? Is he going to switch? Okay, he throws out a sub just to be safe. And Dice Dragon Dances. Okay. So Zapdos is probably feeling pretty okay about things being behind that sub, but you don't want him to dance again. So what's Zap going to do? Is he going to T-Bolt? Is he going to BP? Okay, it BPs. So what does he have in the back to deal with a plus one tar? Metagross, solid. Okay, and Ben, he's glad that he didn't get chipped earlier on that. All right, EQ comes out. Here comes the mash. Will it connect? Oh, Brick Break, let's go! Okay, that's sick, lead tech. <coughs> Got me coughing. So excited about it. Okay. Jirachi is out. Metagross is not regenerating any health. Meta is coming back. Ooh, here comes Tyranitar. Jirachi gets plus one. Let's see how much bulk is on the tar. If the tar has enough bulk to shrug off a plus one hidden tower grass, then the things could be good. Okay. Lots of bulk. And Dragon Dance. Okay. Is he going to try to hit Jirachi or is he going to try to get another boost? Um, against Jirachi, always risky. It could hacks you. But. Here comes the Hidden Power Grass, and no crit. Oh, Dice is in a lot of trouble here. What is gonna happen? Okay, yep, predictably, here comes the EQ. Rachi is down. Dice has three months left. Does he have another answer? Okay, sweet coon. There is a 30% chance that something absolutely disastrous happening here. So let's see, will he get flinched? It all comes down to this. And, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. That is absolutely Horrible, horrible, horrible. And Sweetman's in a range for Earthquake will kill, so he doesn't have to risk another one. Shitrock Enjoyer for Dazi says, yup, yeah, that's, well, what else can you say? Yup. That's a yup. That is for sure a yup. Okay, Kurt is in. It'll live this next move, barring hacks. Uh, 76, brutal. Okay, and Fred goes down. Good job, Fred. You put in some good work. Um, what is coming in? Really, pretty much whatever he wants. Okay, Zapdos is in. It's got to be Hidden Power Grass, or if he's just faking it at this point. Ooh, Speed Perk. Okay, okay. It's got some stuff here. Oh, Swagger misses. No. Okay. Yeah, the louder ninja shit. Um, it could have could have done something, but not this time. What is Dice's last arrow? Ooh, ooh. This had better be some kind of substitute set able to switch its attacks, or else this is just it. Okay, Zapdos is down, but in likely comes, I don't know, actually Metagross might get uh, bodied by Rock Slide too. Oh, yeah, but Abadon, he is going to try to trade Rock Slides. Who's going to win this speed tie? Roll them dice, all right. Bad Dummy moves on, goes up 1-0 in this set. Let's see what happens. GG's on both sides. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the next one. Round two. Will we get a closer set? Okay, Tar versus men's okay the the classic is bad dummy switching out is he ev to live this somehow no he's going into his own men's okay this makes sense and here comes like the brick break yep 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 okay so let's see if this is banned men's or mixed men's okay yeah it's looking like banned men's so what's he got in the back yep let's see okay this is probably like something like toxic ice beam wish soft boiled guessing there's a scarm in the back too if it's that kind of archetype 
Um, but again, this is just, you know, we've only seen two months. We don't really know. Brick Break comes out. What's Blissy going to do? Yep. Click in the ice beam. It's a freeze. Oh, man. Turn. Free. Click in that freeze. The bad dummy is prepared. He's got the Lumberry on his lead tar. He is ready. Oh, into Starmie. Okay, interesting. Brick Break coming out. Okay, let's see if this is a mixed tar. Starmie does not likely want to eat a crunch, but bad dummy also probably doesn't want to eat a hydro. So let's see. In comes Selby. Thunder Wave, okay. So we're looking at Defensive Starmie. That makes sense with the kind of team that Dice is bringing. And with Defensive Starmie, I feel like it's more likely that we're going to see a Storm, a storm in the back. Funny enough, we haven't seen Spikes yet. Yep, there's a Storm. Um, so Bad Dummy, if he wins both of these games without having used Spikes, um, somebody is about to get a lot of points for their CI predictions. Got that leech on Skarm. Tar comes in. Um, okay, gets his spike up. Okay, so what is Tar? Tar has shown Brick Break. Um, we're probably going to see Fire Blast here, I imagine. I don't see what else he would have sent it in. Yep, the Fire Blast. Is Dice going for another layer? Ooh, Toxic on the Tar. Okay, he wants that Tar out of here. Um, not a big believer in uh, two layers of spikes, I guess. So will he save the Skarm? Yep, he goes out to Starmie, likely to, ooh, Ice Beam, trying to predict a switch to something else, like Nens maybe. Um, so Starmie just eats that up. Tar getting worn down a little bit by the poison. Going out to Skarm on, is he staying, is he switching? Oh, Hidden Power Grass, I assume. Yeah, okay. So we got HP Grass, yeah, okay. So no dark moves on this Tar, that's fine. All right, getting a little bit of health back with Protect, a little bit more Toxic Chip. Um, is Bad Dummy gonna stay in and just try to effectively like trade Tar for Skarm here? And will Dice stay in? Likely not, no. Does he read this? Nope. No, he does not. Uh, but, you know, they're pretty equal in material right now. Let's see what happens here. What are Bad Dummy's big threats for breaking through this defensive core here? Um, spikes are likely not gonna be too terribly fruitful with 100% stack. Ooh, that did. Not that much damage. That is a fat Starmie. Okay, so down goes Tar. Let's see who's coming in to answer this. Is it going to be Celebi? Yep, here comes the Celebi. So we've seen Leech that you clicked so far. Is it going to be a defensive utility set? Is it going to be Leech 3A? Uh, who really knows? And I don't think Starmie is going to stay in on this and just let Celebi keep leeching. So will Bad Dummy read this and throw out another seed? What is coming in? Yep, Blissey's in. And is there a second leech seed? Yep, there is. Okay, Blissey going to be healing up whatever comes in. Um, so I'm guessing Blissey here is probably going to try to throw out a Wish if it's that set or a Soft Boiled um, just to get Skarm back up to high elf. Okay, so yep, Soft Boiled. And will he reveal Wish? Because this, this team smells like a Wish team. It smells like one of those. So, but um, nobody's getting any points for that bad dummy Skarmory, I guess. Um, it is throwing out those spikes, so you get one point from the prior game because we didn't get to see if he had Skarm or not. Uh, but let's see. Okay, Rapid Spins to get rid of it. What's Skarm going to do about it? Is it just going to throw down another spike? Toxic's the Starmie. Puts it on a little bit of a timer. Okay, so um, right now all we've seen from Celebi is Leech Seed. Knowing it's bad dummy and he likes a little bit more of defensive play, he could have Heal Bell on it. So I guess he doesn't value paralyzing the Skarm. All right, Blissey comes back in. And now with Skarmory in here, this seems like if you got Wish, now is probably the time to click it. Um, are we gonna see Wish here? Uh, no, CM Bliss, okay, word. Let's go Dice, okay, yeah. So it's just CM Bliss, that actually kind of makes sense in a team like this too. Um, so we'll see, will Skarmory stay in? Metagross is in to pressure the Blissey. And Blissey has revealed Ice Beam, yeah, T-Bolt. So Bolt Beam Bliss, um, not gonna be able to force this meta out likely. Um, we're probably looking at an incoming Meteor Mash. Are we going to Skarmory? Skarm no, we're going to Swampert. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Meteor Mash misses. That's never nice to see. Um, probably would have thudded into Pert a little anyway, but it's always nice to get Chip on Pert, especially when you've got like Immense with moves unrevealed. We'll have to see what exactly that has. Pump misses. Okay, misses all around. Okay, what is Celebi going to click here? Is it just going to go for the greedy Giga Drain? Is it going to just leech whatever comes in? Or Scout? Dice is playing it a little bit safe, especially after that game one. Just throws out a Leech Seed. So we do not know what Celebi said it's. We are just seeing Leech Seed, Leech Seed, Leech Seed, which I mean, you know, like, why not? It's You might as well. Uh, Band Ment is back in to put a little bit more offensive pressure, but between Leech Seed and Stan, that thing is getting worn down. Um, and since there's no wish on the Bliss, um, this guy's health is just what it is. So he's coming out. Um, 
Okay, in the scarm again. All right, just trying to make sure that we maintain Spike's advantage. Bad Dome be known for his Spike's defensive play, even though this team's a little bit more aggro, a little bit more Ferdazi style than what he usually brings out. Got that Zoomer 5. So let's see. What are the lasts on both teams? We will have to see. Starmie gets rid of the Spike and another Toxic onto Starmie to pressure it a little bit. Um, but now Skarmory's got that Paralysis on it, and it's a little dubious as to whether or not Bad Dummy would carry a Cleric. On a team like this that's so fast-paced, I kind of doubt it. So, Sian Bliss is back in, looking to set up. Gets another Spike up to maintain that pressure. Let's see. Uh, is it just going to go for the raw T-Bolt? Is it going to Calm Mind? Oh no, he's going right to Metagross. He does not want this guy setting up. Is he clicking T-Bolt? Nope. Soft Boil. Conservative play. Getting back up to the full. Okay. Is he going to stay in on the map? I kind of doubt it. Um, okay, out to Celebi. All right, anticipating another switch. Here comes Perk in. Oh yeah, Bad Dummy's got all the pressure in the world on him right now. Let's see what gets clicked. Probably protect for that free recover. Will Bad Dummy? No, nope, he's staying in. Um, okay, reveals Giga Drain. Okay, so this could be still Leech 3A. This could still be Utility Celebi. There's a lot of possibilities here. Um, he is likely not standing. Yep, out to Skarm. Did Bad Dummy read it? Yeah, okay. Leech seed, pretty good, pretty good. Keep Skarm low, keep Celebi high. Seems pretty decent. Um, he's probably gonna switch. Yep, back into Blissey again. We're repeating the cycle once more. And Psychic. Yeah, okay. So again, these moves, uh, it really still could be either set. I don't know this calc off the top of my head. If it was like a live game, then I might have time to actually go calc it. But we're not doing that right now. We're just gonna stay in the flow of the action. Okay, Ice Game. Do we get a freeze? No. No freeze today. And Dice, I've seen him bring Serene Grace Blissey before, so, um, kinda doubting that he's gonna this time, but okay, stays in. Soft Boil. So, yeah. And uh, he was quaking, anticipating, I guess, a switch to probably Pert. Um, but we'll see what ends up happening here. Okay, Pert comes back in. Metagross probably clicks Mash. Yep, there it is. Does he get the attack raise? No. No pressure on the Swamper for now. Are we going to see him go back out to Celebi? There's been a lot of these just loops. Just each player trying to get a foothold and trying to get an advantage. Uh, but ooh, reads that. Ooh, a fat Ice Beam coming out. That never feels good. So if Celebi has Recover, it's gonna click it now, or maybe it'll click Gigadrain, or maybe it'll click Beach Seed. I don't really know, but they protect pretty telegraph, so if he's got he's clicking it. Nope. I'm feeling like this is Leech 3A, just based off the way he's playing it, um, and based how much that Ice Beam did. Um, so, let's see. Mence is in. Okay. What is Celebi clicking? Yep. Gigadrain, okay. Solid, solid, solid. Men's getting chipped a little bit here, but Celebi also is not being able to really get any big heals off. Um, so Celebi getting forced out again. Skarm in here. Let's see. What is Men's going to do? Rock slide. Okay. Good read on the Skarm coming in, getting a nice neutral hit on it. Um, but he is likely going to want to switch out. Because if Men's gets toxic here between that and Sand, like, uh, okay. So perfect window for Skarm to come in. Or is it? Let's see. Metagross so far has revealed Met Meteor Mash and Earthquake. So it could be basically anything. Probably not mixed meta because of those two moves, because um, you need space for other stuff, but another Mashness doesn't really matter because it protect. Skarm is getting some nice chip heal this game, back up to 25%. Will be able to stomach another Mash, but he's again not prioritizing that second spike, doesn't like it. All right, attack raise this time, a crit! Ooh, uh-oh. Swampert is in trouble. It'll be able to chip heal back with, uh, with protect here, but, oh, he doesn't offer it. He was anticipating a switch because that was such an obvious play, but that is a huge swing. Okay, Bad Dummy just lost his best Metagross switch in. Are we going to see this then go crazy here? Starmie should be able to stomach, yeah, especially with a uh, with a recover. We'll see how much this damage loop does. Yeah, 46. Starmie can sit here all day and do this. But the question is, is Dice willing to roll the dice and let Bad Dummy see if he can fish for a crit? Yeah, wisely throws out that paralysis. Okay, is he going to get it this turn? Okay, nope. Just another pretty similar roll, 45, 46. So Starmie is letting Meta hit Chef heal up, but he needs his Starmie. Uh, oh, arrow, last, that makes sense on a team like this. Gets rid of the spike at least, that's good, but Starmie is gonna be forced out. And actually, if he's uh, able to get another uh, spike up, 
this could be really bad. I'm about to look like a feel. I think, oh yeah, Sableye, let's go! Okay, so in that Ban Sableye post, it was alluded to that there are other players preparing Sableye strategies that aren't the APR one. Looks like this is one of those, you are the worst player alive, Ferdazi says. Real hater shit. Come on now, it's, it's a Sableye. Uh, I know it's ban worthy, but strong stuff coming out. So what Sableye set we got here? Is this like a, the anti-lax one? Are we looking at something a little different here? Knock off, okay. Skarm has its leftovers removed. We're back, we're back. That is one of the best feelings in Mons, I gotta say, is like knocking off someone's leftovers with Sableye, just making that thing do anything, okay? And, oh, it reached the storms. Oh, that's huge, that's huge, okay. Spikes are going up and they are staying up. Even though only two Mons on Dice's side are spikes weak, and neither of them exactly want to be pivoting in and out a ton. Well, let me bless he does, but... All right, is Skarm going to get its layers? going to get paralyzed? Roars it out, okay. All right, all right, Skarm is in. Okay, so he, as long as he doesn't get paralyzed, will get one layer here. Um, but Skarm's time on this Earth is limited. Is this going to be it? Yep, gets the spike up, okay. So even if Bliss uh, chunks Skarm here, uh, the spike is up and it is staying up. So Sableye and Blissey are not going to appreciate that for the rest of the game. And Badbomi still has basically all of his offensive threats left alive. Now looking at this team, okay, this is definitely Leap's 3A. Um, so Skarm isn't exactly going to be able to chip heal on that. He's got Metagross in. Is he clicking? Oh, Sableye will not want to eat this. Unless this was a boom. Another Meteor miss, but... Sableye's gonna be able to remove Metagross's leftovers, maybe, but it still is not gonna, especially even if it's physical attack, it's not gonna want to stomach a Meteor Mash. It'll eat it, it'll live it, but like, not well. And if, if Sableye is able to just keep getting like Meteor Mash looped, um, yeah, things could get real bad real fast. All it takes is one crit or one attack raise and Sableye is no more. Probably, oh, <laughs> oh, Dice is gonna need to get lucky on some paralysis here. Um, yeah, this is, this is not good. ABR didn't tell me about this. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's part of Sableye. That's sort of what happens. You just kind of hope. All right, so we got Mens in against Metagross. Um, is he going to, I, I feel like he might just, okay, what's he going to do? Yeah, Rock Slide anticipating the switch on the Earthquake because he's CB, but nope, down goes Mens. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is looking abysmal, actually, for DICE, but... Will C and Blissey be able to do this? I mean, it could actually get a little bit dicey. It's gonna, oh, okay, that makes sense. But if Metagross hits here, it's in trouble. He didn't click Mash though. So, okay, this is a this is a situation. He really needed that full pair there. Um, okay, he's fishing for it again. Will he get it? And yeah, he does, okay, all right. Is he gonna be greedy here or is he just gonna take his kill? He probably, oh, yep, okay, okay. I mean, he obviously doesn't want Arrow to come in and smack him, but now he's in a worse spot than before, but we'll see how this looping pays off. Is Bad Dummy going to keep clicking quick? Is he going to risk it on a Meteor Mash? What are we looking at here? Yep, there's the Mash, and there goes Bliss. Oh, well, was worth a shot. Good shit to Bad Dummy. Look at him. He's neither bad nor a dummy. Excited to see him in round two winners. Um, well, great set to both players. Good stuff, good stuff. Looking forward to seeing both of their games coming through in the future. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.